Okay, I haven't done one of these talking head videos for a while. And I've got something I need to get off my chest. So as an off and on entrepreneur uh, throughout my adulthood, um, you know, there's a couple things that uh, make a huge difference in the success of a company. One of them is customer service. And the other is having customers that actually have money. Uh, when the economy's bad, it can be difficult. Uh, when the economy's good, then it comes down to customer service and pricing. So I have been uh, happy, or had been for the most part, happy with my Sirius XM account. Uh, I had used them years ago when I trucked and it's great not to have to change channels as you migrate across the country. So it was a natural choice for the RV to go with a satellite radio. And because our RV's older, it wasn't built into the radio. So I bought one of their little portable units um, that can be mounted and subscribed. And they had a great offer. You know, I think I got the radio and a year's worth of service for about a hundred bucks. And I liked it well enough that I went to the trouble of permanently mounting the device and including mounting the antenna on the outside of the roof of the RV. So obviously I intended to be a customer for a long time. So the first year ended and I got a notice from them or as the first year was ending that they, you know, my subscription was going to be, was up for renewal and the price on it more than doubled, went up to about $240 a year. So no, that wasn't going to work because it's not worth it to me for that amount. Uh, you know, I don't mind 10 bucks a month, something on that order. But anyway, uh, I called them, told them I was canceling and after several attempts to cancel and the usual deal of being passed from salesperson to salesperson with ever increasingly good offers, finally I accepted their $9 a month renewal rate and we were good for another year. This year, I don't know if I missed the emails uh, or what, but I use um, some alerts on my bank account so that when charges of a certain size, you know, go through, I get an alert. And I get an alert that there's been a slightly over $300 charge to my account by Sirius XM. So this is unacceptable to me. I don't mind that you do an auto renewal as long as it's for the amount I paid the year before. And I know that technically I probably agreed by subscribing at all to your auto renewal. Uh, I'm not going to swear because my kids hate it when I do that. Ordinarily I talk like a sailor. So as upset as I am with Sirius XM, I would be bleeping every other word based on what I think of their customer service. So I immediately called them when I see this charge that was triple what my previous rate had been. And I start to get this BS about, well, let me, and it's like, no, people, you're too effing late, okay? You've irritated me to the point that you would have to pay me to be your customer. You would have to pay me to be your customer. That's how irritating it is to have to call you every year and renegotiate a deal that you give new customers. Are you out of your mind? You treat new customers better than the people that are on your books as paying customers? <laughs> well, adios, mofos, because this guy will never subscribe to you again. And I liked your service. I liked it in the fall. I could listen to college football games away and home. I could decide which broadcast I wanted to listen to. And yeah, I'm giving that up. Okay. I can go on the internet. I can get my stuff elsewhere. I'm going to, I'm going to jump through hoops to avoid having to pay you people and help you succeed because you think it's okay to triple somebody's bill and treat an existing com customer worse than you treat a new one. Good luck with that business model, jackasses.